Tens of millions of people are expecting to vote in more than 10 African nations in 2019. According to the International Foundation for Electoral Systems, or IFIS, a Washington, D.C.-based independent organization that supports citizens' right to participate in free and fair elections in more than 145 countries. Nigerian voters were scheduled to cast their ballots in the nation's presidential and parliamentary elections on February 16th. But just five hours prior to the polls opening, the country's independent National Electoral Commission announced a one-week delay in the vote to Saturday, February 23rd. The commission blamed logistical difficulties, including problems in distribution of ballots and result sheets, as well as sabotage, after three fires at its offices in the last two weeks. We believe that ultimately this decision is good for our democracy and for our country. I wish to assure you of our commitment to free, fair and credible elections. Two main political parties are swiftly accused each other of orchestrating the delay as a way to manipulate the vote, a sentiment echoed by some voters, many of whom had traveled long distances to vote in their hometowns. Political observers are predicting a tight race between incumbent President Muhammadu Buhari and chief challenger, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. Buhari, 75, has been in office since 2015. In Senegal, voters are headed to the polls on February 24th, where incumbent President Maki Sall is facing four other primary challenges. President Sall, 57, was first elected in 2012. Two opposition leaders, a former Dakar mayor, Khalifa Sall, and ex-minister Karim Wad, were barred from running due to previous convictions for misuse of public funds. Thousands of supporters of both former candidates have staged protests in recent months are calling for fair and transparent elections. The former French colony is seen as a model of democracy in the region, having never experienced a coup and successfully staging peaceful transfers of power in 2000 and 2012. Stakes are high in South Africa as voters gear up for general elections on May 8th. The ruling African National Congress Party, ANC, is looking to reverse its declining popularity due to weak growth, unemployment and corruption. The opposition has latched onto ANC's corruption as an election trump card. The ANC is facing a tough fight to retain its dominance and proposing constitutional changes to address land right issues. The far-left South Africa Economic Freedom Fighters Party has land exploration and jobs at the top of its election agenda. Malawians are expected to cast their ballots in tripartite elections on May 21st. Voters will select a president, members of parliament and local councillors. The election pits incumbent President Peter Mutharika of the Democratic Progressive Party against his former Vice President Saulas Chilema. Political observers say Chilema is seen as the biggest threat to Mutharika. Meanwhile, former President Joyce Banda has also joined the race after reversing a decision to join an alliance with the opposition. Political analysts say her announcement could be a game changer. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.